Hey there, I'm Cody, and this is my wife, Laura, and this is Tots. If you're new here, we've converted him into our very own tiny home on wheels and have spent the last six months traveling the country with our girl, Raleigh. After being a ton of places from Texas to San Diego to Oregon, we've now arrived in our eighth state, Washington. So hit subscribe and come along for the ride. This is the tale of two Smitties. Hey guys, so for the last few weeks, we've been showing you our journey through Oregon. From the Oregon coast to the forest, and from Crater Lake to Blockbuster, we've really enjoyed it all. But warmer temperatures were approaching, Portland was expecting about 98 degrees, so it was time to start heading north to Washington, so we did just that. And we actually spent the week putting the camera down a little bit and focusing on time with just me and Laura. The first couple days we spent at a campground, again with the warmer temperatures, this part of Washington was about 93 degrees. We found a state park, we uh, holed up for a couple days, we had work to do, and uh, we were able to plug in and run our air full time for two days. How much water do you think you filled? Mm. A fifth of the tank. Oh wow. Maybe not even. Oh. <laughs> um, think of something to say, think of something to say. It wasn't very empty. This, camp, this uh, camp state park doesn't have any sites that have dumped, so we didn't get to dump our gray. And we were using water pretty liberally for the last couple days. Yeah. And I don't think, did we dump it before we left Ben? Yeah, I guess we did. So we're probably fine, but... We'll see. We don't typically go a week or two without dumping it, so... Yeah. Okay, bye. Heading out of our first paid campsite since we left Dallas. It was weird being here, if I'm being totally honest. We didn't need a whole lot of water, but we filled up on water while we were here. The best thing we did was get rid of our, not only our garbage, but they had a recycle bin. We're actually about to drive by it and you can see there's some overflow. That's probably because of us. <laughs> and we had tons of cans. We had a ton of like glass. We try not to use too much plastic, so we buy almost everything with glass. Peanut butter, honey, jam, whatever, stuff like that. And there's not a lot of recycle options when you're boondocking, so that was pretty nice. But it's beautiful. Not totally our speed for all the time, but it was beautiful. Happy we found it. Happy to move on to the next spot, which for now is going to be a Walmart parking lot so we can finish our work day. And then we're heading to a Harvest Host in Tacoma, Washington, just outside Seattle. So we'll see you then. Then we headed north and we headed to go see one of Laura's friends in Seattle. And we enjoyed some time uh, at, a, at a brewery on the way. We spent two days at North 47 Brewing in Browns Point, which is right outside of Tacoma. It might even be part of Tacoma. We're heading out from where we stayed behind that tent, North 47 Brewery, which was super fun. So we did not show you guys any of it. We did a terrible job, we're terrible vloggers, but we had a really great time. Then we headed up toward Woodenville, uh, which has a ton of breweries, wineries, a couple distilleries. We checked out Black Raven Brewing, and we really enjoyed some time um, seeing one of our friends uh, and hanging out for a couple days. But as the heat continued to build, Seattle was about to face a weekend with three consecutive days over 100 degrees for the first time in 100 years, and we didn't want to be part of it. Oh, yeah. That is why they call it gray water. Right, Code? That's right. Got our new radios. Yeah. How'd you find out about this place? Uh, Laura hit me up on the old radio and told me that, uh, hey, there's a dump station. So I said, okay. <laughs> now we're here. <laughs> Why did we need to dump? The last couple places we went to, we haven't been able to dump. Um, the state park didn't have a dump station. Which was shocking. Where were we just at just now? The beer brewery. Oh yeah, a couple breweries didn't have dump stations, obviously. And this place is awesome. It also has water. This is not 
this isn't potable, but I think they do have potable on another spot. But this is the traffic we're driving in, so honestly, a little break was kind of nice. Good point. All those black water folks. How easy is that? In addition to our brand new walkie talkies that we just got, we also ordered a generator cover. I have been very uncomfortable with our generator being uncovered for weather, you know, rain, the dust that we drive through, and also people can see it's a generator. And if you've been here for a while, you know our luck with generators isn't great. So we really wanted to get it covered up. Working great. If you haven't checked them out yet, I got my new Seekmore Wilderness hat in the mail yesterday. So uh, make sure you check out Seekmore Wilderness. Our friends Isaac and Maria, you met a few weeks back. We've got Isaac and Maria with us and uh, they own this company. They donate 50% of profits to protect public lands. So if you're into cool stuff or if you're into protecting public lands, uh, check them out. Tell them we sent you. you. You won't really get like a discount or anything. They'll just <laughs> like you more. All right, they probably won't like you anymore because you're buying their stuff. They'll like you anyway, but just buy their stuff. <laughs> Tell us about that groovy shirt you're wearing too. Yeah, Painted Buffalo. You've met Jess probably once, a couple times. Once. Definitely once. Definitely in the Van Fest walkthroughs. Uh, she's the Marine that uh, does the paint cam project with veterans. Um, so this is her shirt. Absolute nomad supporter right now. Yeah, that's right. Also rocking the earth tones. Yeah, earth tone guy. We heard summer 2021 is all about earth tones. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> all right, ready to buckle back up? Well, I was going to top off water, but pretty full I think. This is one of the first times in the last week or so we've had the problem of having too much water. We keep being places where we can get free water and we don't need it. Go figure. I got this new iPhone 12. Anybody need a new iPhone 12? <laughs> so pretty. You need to get wet. Come. was very ready to cool off. So we are here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon at Twin Harbor State Park in Washington. We checked out a brewery earlier and we are here to cool down because it is a absolute heat wave passing through the area and this is amazing. Come check it out! This feels way better. What do you think? Are you so happy to cool off? <laughs> so if you were thinking it was weird that I had my purse at the beach, you were right. It 
was weird that I had my purse at the beach. So Cody went to bring my purse back to the car, and Raleigh can't have any fun until he gets back. So we are just waiting for Cody. So we are at beach number two for the day, and uh, we went back to the bus. It was about 106. So opened a bunch of windows, ran the AC, ran the fans, tried to cool it down a little bit, but it's still pretty warm. So, woo, and the water just got real chilly in this one spot. Um, so we're going to hang out here for a little bit, cool down, because it's hot in Raleigh. Raleigh needs to have some fun. Waiting for Cody to go in. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna go under? As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play full and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back, all the way back to them days Running around in a gown and a crown Barefoot Next week, we trade the Washington beaches for the Washington forests. We'll see you next week. No mistake ever kept me late. We spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way to church on Sunday.